Welcome back. Sirius XM Blitz. Bruce Murray, Bruce Gradkowski in Minnesota spending the day with the Vikings. Final stop on the Sirius XM NFL radio training camp tour. And we get a chance now to chat with Adam Thielen, who stops by. Adam, it's always good to see you. How are you? I'm good. Good to see you guys back at training camp. You know, I'm, I'm disappointed that we have to talk business and we'll talk football because it was only weeks ago that we spent some time with you on a golf course. How'd Lake Tahoe go? Oh, it's unbelievable. That's uh, my wife and I's favorite week of the year. Get uh Get away from the kids for a week and spend in Lake Tahoe. Not a bad place to be. You know, every guy you talk to out there loves it, but you also get the different perspective of it's almost like that last hurrah before you come here because you finish up and then it's a week later. And they always talk about the stress, like the butterflies that come with it. When you're out there, is it always in the back of your mind that, man, in just a couple of days the, the grind begins? No, definitely not thinking about football. That's the, that's the good thing about it. Uh, you still have that competitive juice. Like, like you said, those butterflies. I think I'm more nervous – on that first tee box or those first few holes of Lake Tahoe than I am in, a, in an NFL game. So uh, it definitely prepares me for that. Well, two, two more things. One is, you know, I, I love that because, you know, what you do on Sundays you're comfortable with. But, you know, there's a crowd that lines up right. the tee boxes and you're out of your comfort zone. And you're a good golfer. But nobody wants to, like, either, you know, dribble one or shank it or something like that. I mean, you just want to get off that first tee, right? I, I think the biggest thing for me is, is I, I literally – practice i every time i'm on the golf course i'm thinking about lake tau so 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 it all builds up you get a whole year to build up for lake tau so you get on that first tee and you, you want to do well because right. you, you you've been practicing right. you've been thinking about it the only reason why i go out and practice is because of lake tahoe because i want to finish <laughs> well so so it's like it's like it all comes down to three days and you have three days to show what you can do and that's it all right well, now last thing though i gotta ask one more thing i don't know who you played with on the last day but i know there's always a little you know side wagering that goes on with some of these guys you know because they're all really well healed i don't know if you know that bruce just say who you bruce <laughs> yeah, I mean, exactly yeah, come on so who'd, who'd you play with and was there any you know kind of you know fun wagering going on you know i got the hockey guys so oh um, they're good you know, Mike Madano and P Joe Pavelski. So they're both good golfers. We didn't have any side bets, but um, we sh probably should have. It, it definitely <laughs> would take uh, uh, some of the uh, butterflies away if we just kind of had a little side wager, but, but we didn't. I, I got to play with Case Keenum uh, the second day, and, and we had a good side, side bet going on because – a uh, little, little friendly wager because we've we played a lot of golf together over the years, so it's good to play with him. Yeah, that's cool. And it just shows you have the right mindset. Uh, you know, you're focused on Tahoe, so you have a whole year to prepare. But I just love your career path. You you've came, you came in as an undrafted free agent, but you made your name on special teams initially, and now you're the, the core leader of this offense. Um, you know, when you sit back and you look at you signed the contract extension – where you're at in your career, where you've come from, you're, you're battle tested. You've proven that you can make it to the stage and, and be successful. Uh, where are you at coming into training camp? You know, honestly, um, you know, I had I had a uh, a couple weeks uh, before, you know, that week in Tahoe where it was just my wife and I, and, and we were talking a few days out there. And I don't know if it was on the plane or or there, but it was kind of like, you know what, I'm I'm gonna kind of have that same mindset. Uh, that I've had my entire career, uh, kind of that underdog, uh, you know, that that uh, you know, proving people wrong type of mentality. But at the same time, I kind of told her that this this training camp, I'm just going to go out there, I'm going to bust my tail every single day, and I'm not going to worry about 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 what happens after that. And I think you know, a lot of times I get so down on myself if I made a bad play or had a bad practice, and and I, I've really tried to. Um, have a different mindset as far as that and just as long as I go out there and I give everything I got um, and I know that I gave it everything I got I I'm happy with the day and and I think when you do that things start tend to play out you know that you know as you analyze what happened last year it's always going to be boy Minnesota underachieved based on the expectations uh, and then you'll hear the tagline that is well, the second year in the system should be a big benefit to Kirk Cousins. And, you know, the system has changed a little, two offensive coordinators last year. But you tell me, you know, as you reflect on last year and head into this year, how important it is to now have a full season with this whole group together under your belt. Yeah, you know, that's important. Obviously, like you said, it's a totally different offense. Com couldn't be more opposite, probably. Uh, but it fits our team. It fits this offense. It fits our skill guys. And I think that's probably the most exciting thing about going into this year. Um, obviously, we have a lot of work to do because it's a new offense. But, um, but I, think, I think another thing is, is, is people don't understand how long it takes to get on the same page with a quarterback. Right. And, and as skill players, um, there's things that we do. There's things that he does. And, and you, have to, you have to go through um, mistakes or um, you know, incompletions. You have to go through those things to get on the same page. And you can't just sit in a meeting room and talk about it. So... Um, I think the more time you have together with a quarterback, 
uh, it definitely doesn't hurt you. Well, and I saw some. You brought up a great point because you know I, p- I played for 11 years, and to have a security blanket like yourself, a guy that can basically do it all but has those sure hands, and you brought up a great point of Kirk has to also learn what type of play receiver we are. I mean, are we a back shoulder type guy? Are we a deep ball guy? Can we go down and get the ball? Can we, you know, moss someone for a deep one? So it does take a lot of time and work together. Uh, is there specific things that you guys are working on during training camp? Yeah, I think I think those things that you talk about, you know, just trying to understand uh, what we like as receivers, Diggs and I, uh, we actually play the game pretty similarly. So we have a lot of the same thoughts of, of how we like certain balls, depending on the leverage of the DB, depending on the route, things like that. Right. So uh, just communication as far as that goes. And, and there's things that, that Kirk has done in his past with different receivers that, that he likes and we have to adjust to. So I think it's kind of just a, a communication thing, uh, trying, to get, trying to be as comfortable as possible on, on at the, the quarterback end and the receiver end. Well, and sometimes people don't understand a lot of that is like you just said, communication. It's not like the practice on the field. Almost it's more important when you're in the film room watching it together and say, hey, you know, what did you see on that? Why did you throw that ball behind me? Or why did you, you know, and, and, and vice versa. So I think, you know, playing the position as a smart receiver like you are really helps Cousins out. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, I think, I think it's just one of those things where the you can over communicate that stuff right. because the more you communicate, uh, the more on the same page you are, and then it just comes natural when you get to game day, um, and, and that's why we're out here practicing. Because why would you practice if 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 that stuff didn't matter, you know? Right. And and for us, you know, we're we're gonna try to take advantage of all these opportunities and and to be able to go talking about it, and and you it'll never it'll never be clear until you see it in the film room. And you say, okay, like you said, it, what were you thinking here? Why did you do this, or right. or, or or where would have you liked this ball? This, things like that. So um, it, it's a lot of repetition, and it's a lot of takes a lot of mistakes to yeah. to really get on the same page. To be honest, you, you know, you talked about how you prepare yourself mentally now, uh, and the conversation you had with your wife. I'm, I'm thinking you're going to turn 29 at the end of the month, right? That's right. Which means you're in your last year of being a young man in the NFL. <laughs> Once you're 30, that's it's it. You're, you're an old guy, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, but I mean, it's amazing. Six years in the league. You know, how do you how do you prepare yourself physically if, if it's any different than it was when you first came in? Yeah, going on year seven, actually, which is, which yeah. is kind of crazy. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, you know, honestly, honestly, really, it's, it's, I think it's so important, the offseason training. You know, everybody, everybody wants to talk about, you know, the season, how you're preparing, things like that. But I, think, I don't think a lot of young guys nowadays – um, understand how important the offseason is and and your training and I think I think that's really really where it comes down to you know uh, preparing your body to endure a season preparing your body to um, you know have the strength in the right areas to be able to last 16 games and hopefully more so I, I, I really I really focus on that I have a great trainer and a guy that I've trusted for for seven years now and and really um, I have a lot of confidence that's preparing me. Can you get away on vacation with your wife and not hit the gym and not do something training and not watch your diet? No, because she'll get after me. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, she's got she if she's going to the to to work out, then I better be in there too. So yeah. she she uh, she she loves to work out and she loves to stay fit. So that, it definitely keeps me uh, humble and and right there with her. That, that, hey, that's a good wife. <laughs> yeah, right. exactly. Now Bruce was talking about the mental training. I mean, have you been mentally preparing yourself for kids yet? Oh <laughs> I mean, my goodness, I got three of them at home, and I'm telling you what, man, it's it's a different ball game. Yeah, I got two now, and uh, our youngest is seven months. So we're wow. we're grinding right now, but <laughs> but he's starting to sleep through the night now. So so it's it's getting a little bit better. But but honestly, it's I, I don't know how she does it because especially right now I'm not there helping out. Training camps yeah. relaxing. Oh my you, goodness! Right? Yeah, exactly. I get to go home and and actually sleep. But uh, she's a saint and definitely uh, God blessed me with her for a reason. And I'm, I'm cool. very thankful. Yeah, for I that. always say it's the perfect excuse for guys when your kids are really young and you have business trips or you have time that has to be spent away. You know because you know work calls. Honey, you gotta you know take care of the kids and be up and the whole thing and it, it's all about work. So it's a built-in excuse at the at the young ages, right? Yeah, no kidding. And and I've learned now to uh, take advantage of that and get <laughs> yes. get as much rest as possible. <laughs> yes. So uh, definitely, uh, even though the the hotel bed's not as as good as my home bed, I still uh, try to make sure I get plenty of sleep. And real quick, talk about the Thielen Foundation. You know, we we see you know everything, guys, as far as their contracts, but all off the field. I mean, it seems like you're doing a lot of good things. Just talk about what you started yeah my wife and I feel um, that that God has put us here for a reason and and that uh, 
um, you know, we really have been blessed with with this life uh, to give back, and and we we have felt that that our passion and maybe our, our our best way to do that is to give back to the youth and and underprivileged youth, kids that maybe didn't have the resources opportunities that we had growing up that that has helped shape us and help us get to where we are. So um, that's kind of our vision. Um, we we kept it broad because we want to help out as many kids as possible. Um, but but our, our our kind of motto is to help um, you know underprivileged youth reach yeah. their full potential. That's right. And uh, so there's there's several different ways that that we're trying to do that right now. But uh, um, it's been a lot of fun so far, and we've only we've only been up and running for a year now. But um, you know it, it's really changed our perspective on a lot of things. Right. Uh, hanging out with some of these kids and and hearing some of their their issues or problems or maybe some of the things that that they struggle with that that we've struggled with and, right. and we can relate to them. So um, it's it's been really incredible for for us and. Uh, we're very, very thankful for that. Yeah, always great to hear the work that you're doing off the field. But the last thing, and we'll let you go, Adam. You know, I, I'd love to talk about personal goals for a second. And some guys are uncomfortable because it's all about team, and I get that. But if, if you achieve personal goals, that oftentimes means success for a football team. So when you come into another season, do you have personal goals set up for yourself? I don't. I never have. Really? Um, yeah, I've never st- set statistical goals. Uh, football is a game where, as you know, it's it, it's just so much that you can't control. Right. And uh, so for me, it, it kind of goes back to what I was talking to with my wife. It, it's just I'm going to come out here. I'm going to bust my tail every single day. Uh, I'm going to try to do the right thing, and, and I'm going to let everything else play itself out. And, and, and at the end of the day, if I know that I gave it everything I had, I, I'm not going to be angry with with the the really what happens, to be honest. All right. Well, always great catching up with you, as you know. Uh, good to see that you're healthy. Stay healthy throughout camp, obviously. Best of luck during the season. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Adam.